Hey there, I'm Alex and today we're going to talk about Adaptive Amp. And in order to do that, you need to know what Adaptive Amp is, but it's pretty simple. It's just a guitar amp with some built-in effects and our adaptive switching system. Uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about the first two things uh, kind of in conjunction first, and then we'll touch on the adaptive switching since that's kind of the heart of the project. First things first, uh, Adaptive Amp has a 1 watt power amplifier. 1 watt is relatively low power. We decided to do that for the purposes of this project uh, just since we knew we were going to be presenting around other people who are also going to be presenting at the same time. So we didn't want to make it a competition uh, as to who can be loudest. We just wanted to uh, make sure that we were not overly obnoxious and loud. Uh, next, we've got our overdrive and distortion. All this does is uh, make our guitar sound like that kind of dirty, nice electric guitar sound that we've all kind of come to know and love. Next, we've got our delay and echo, and that's pretty simple. The, the word echo kind of says it all. That's, that's what it does. It just takes our guitar signal and generates repeats of it that it plays back mixed in with the original signal. In this diagram down here, you can kind of see Adaptive Amp's signal chain. Basically what we do is we take our guitar input, run it into our distortion, through to our delay, and then out to the power amp and the speaker. Next, we're gonna talk about our adaptive switching system and simply put, We've got our sensor here on the back of the headstock of the guitar that fires infrared light down the back of the guitar into the user's kind of wrist and hand. And that light will then bounce back to the sensor and the sensor will spit out data that we can use to determine the position of the user's hand. Once we do that, we kind of delegate that position of the hand into one of three of these zones. Uh, these zones are user definable. They're not just set like you see here. And based on which zone we're in, we will turn on one set of effects or turn, you know, different things will turn on and off depending on where the user's hand is. Now one thing we did want to shoot for here is we wanted to shoot for a minimal learning curve and we, we expected that there would be some and there definitely is. I've played guitar for a little over a decade now and it was definitely a trip using it for the first time. But once you get used to it, it definitely uh, can become a, a pretty useful tool to have under your belt. This diagram is basically just a flow chart of how our adaptive switching system works. First, we take the sensor data from our IR sensor and we read it into our board and interpret it appropriately because we don't get a distance directly from the sensor. We have to do a little bit of processing first in order to get it. So we take it into our microcontroller, interpret it to determine a distance, and then using the sensor's distance in conjunction with a couple of controls uh, that the user can, can input their switching points with, we then determine what preset zone the user's hand is in. That then gets sent out to the brain of the amp, and assuming the amp is in automatic mode and adaptive mode, because it has two different modes that it can work in, if it's in adaptive mode, that preset zone will be interpreted, used to generate switching signals, which will then be output to the effects relays to switch them on or off accordingly. If the amp is in manual mode, which is determined by a toggle switch, the amp will discount this completely, and it will use these effects toggles to determine uh, our switching signals and then send those out to the amp accordingly. These are kind of the main components used in Adaptive Amp. We use two Arduino Unos, one on the guitar, one in the amp. Those are kind of the brains of the switching operation. 
the VL53L0X, that's this guy, is our IR sensor that sits on the back of the guitar. The LM386, which is this guy here, is what we use for our power amplifier. The PT2399, which is this guy, is used for what it says. It is used to generate our echoes in our delay. And then the NE5532P is this one here. That is just used for uh, general purposes throughout adaptive amps circuitry. Uh, this switching system can also be adapted into things that are not just adaptive amp. We could put this uh, in standalone effects units and modular effects units, multi effects units. Uh, which would be adaptive amp but without the power amplifier and we could also build this into loop switchers which would allow users to sort of bring their own effects and uh, have their sound but with our adaptive switching and that is all I have for you today thank you for watching